Let's give our game a background color. Uh, first, let's do a couple of housekeeping things. I installed a plugin that lets you see the commands that I do. Like if I do Command Z, it will tell you down here uh, what I did. And the first thing we want to do is change this from drawing example to coin game. So I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to do Alt Backspace to delete one word at a time. And you can see down here it tells you Alt Backspace and coin game. I'm going to type that in. And to run this, um, I'd like to rerun it without having to use my mouse. Uh, what's the control key to rerun something that you just ran the last time? Under the run menu, you can see that run game is control R on the Mac. So I'm going to do control R. And then again, this uh, plugin I did shows you what, uh, what I just typed. So onward, let's set the color. I'm going to add a new line. And I can add a new line by going to the end of the line and hitting enter. But if I'm in the middle of the line, that's, that's kind of a drag. So what if I did uh, shift return in the middle of the line? Shift return starts a new line, indents you to the correct place, place etc. So I want to do um, a background color. And in arcade, I'm going to start typing arcade and I'm going to hit tab. And it's set background color, and I type SE, and there it is. I hit tab, um, or in that case, I hit enter. And now I got to specify the color. Well, I don't want to put in the the hexadecimal or the numeric or what are all those other computer ways to specify a color. Arcade gives me some variables I can use under arcade.color. I can do something like wheat. I type WH, and now I hit tab. I want to rerun this, so instead of moving my cursor, um, well, actually, I need to go and get that game that's been running. Put it back over on this screen. I'm going to close that screen, that window that came up. And I'm going to run this again, and here's the game. And it ran again, control R, but it didn't actually set the background color. And that was by uh, design. We're going to do that in the next step to show how Arcade actually gets everything set up.